Hey guys, uh, just got done watching the Eagles and the Jaguars games. This is uh, obviously preseason height. They always show those local ga local games of the teams. But uh, this is pretty um, cool since personally being an Eagles fan, I watch my team win, but nothing to really get all hyped up doing backflips and cartwheels over it because this is a preseason game. So uh, I just hope they can uh, improve the defense and mainly the off the line stays, stays healthy. That's always the uh, key thing when it comes to uh, any uh, championship football team is good defense and off the line that stays healthy and they're just consistent too while playing. Also, um, got a chance to watch a buddy of mine too today in uh, his game on ESPNU. For any of you football, high school football fans, the University Christian played a team out in uh, Kentucky called Highlands. They got smoked. Highlands smoked them, but uh, first game of the year, and uh, there's some good recognition for a team here locally in Jacksonville. I live, I live personally like walking distance from the high school, but I've known the young man since uh, well before, since he was in grade school. Sad because his dad passed away just last year, so to see him uh, getting ready to finish his senior year pretty strong. Just happy for him. He told me a few years ago he wants to play college football, and I said, "Hey, go for it." That's the main thing. I, I don't know why he had his brother uh, saying he should just concentrate with the Olympic weightlifting, but at the same time, that's not his decision. It's his brother's decision. So if he wants to play college ball, I'm the biggest cheerleader behind him. So, um, again, uh, I'll be checking out University of Christian maybe one or two times. Um, I always like to walk around and, um, on Fridays during this time of year, uh, check out different high school games here locally. I got a lot of semi pro teammates and uh, coaches that uh, coach high school ball as well. So, always get a good chance just to go out there and just see the, uh, the young guys who they're coaching as well. Um, back to the uh, Philadelphia Jaguar game. Um, again, really nothing to really talk much about. Uh, Jacksonville looks like they could be promising, but that schedule is ugly. If anyone has uh, paid attention to it, probably one of the more difficult schedules I think coming up into this 2013 uh, season. So, um, hey, we'll see how. Hey, it, there's the movie, this movie title, any given Sunday, you never know. So, uh, we'll have to find out. Wait and see. Also, with um, other. Um, Thing, other books that I'm reading still with well, Donald Trump and Robert Kiyosaki. Wow. Uh, wow. This book came out in 2006, and a lot of the stuff that uh, they were mentioning, they were right on point, too. They're really true educators, but you never really know about that, especially looking at that media. You never know that. You got to read the books to see where they're coming from. So uh, they just want to. Um, well-being for people, as uh, Kiyosaki has said, and his rich dad has said too. Your biggest asset is your mind. So what you're putting into your mind is uh, very, very important. That phrase, um, you can do anything that you want to. You put your mind to it. It really is true. So, wow, this is a uh, shocking that how people. Just go about every day and just not really make a decision for uh, better. But, uh, hey, that's the reason why, personally, I continue to keep on coming out here and making videos myself because I know there is better. I mean, I don't go to sugarcoat it. I'm in two great businesses, too, and I'm going to just keep on pushing both of them like crazy because, hey, people got to see that there is better than there is no hope for themselves. There is hope for Anybody, just make a choice. I mean, shoot, I, I got a, I see business partners of my own working like crazy, trying to get the word out there. So, again, there is better, and uh, yes, you can do it. Just gotta keep your mind to it. So, with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later.